Okay, today is January 3rd. Happy New Year. This is our six puppies from Lovey and Doc, I believe. Uh, I'll have it on my website because <laughs> I've got everything inside. Um, this is their first video. I did take a series of photos of these puppies, uh, which I'll definitely include their back photos so that you can see the markings on their back. Um, but uh, also I may just include their photos that I took around, I wanna say two and a half, three weeks. Just never, I mean, it's just, it's been a year. Most of you that follow us know that we had quite a puppy boom. And uh, anyway, between that and leading right into the holidays of getting the last puppies home, family coming in, I'm sorry, I'm behind, but better late than never. So this is Law Padoodle Canine Manor. And our website is L-A-W-P-D-O-O-D-L-E-K, the number nine, manor, M-A-N-O-R.com, our email, uh, cell phone, uh, Zell contact, which is our cell phone. Um, all that stuff is on there. And uh, I will have this page up hopefully soon with not only this video, but their first photos which I took here just a little bit ago. They are a little dirty because while I was working here earlier and getting things set up, um, I had to make some changes as the puppy gets older. So it just takes a little extra time. Um, and anyway, I uh, just forgot my train of thought. Go for it. Uh, okay, well, let's go ahead and introduce these puppies. Um, oh, I know what I was trying to tell you was the fact that I went ahead and fed them their slop, uh, which I try not to do right before I take pictures because they tend to get it all over their feet and um, doesn't end their faces. <laughs> You're still licking your face? Yep, that's our black collared boy. So that is a male. Um, I don't even believe I've given them ID names yet. So that I will work on. Okay, that is our dark gray. I mean, yes, our dark gray boy. Hey, look at me. Oh, you're not going to look at me. Oh, huh? you mad at me still? You mad at me still? Yeah, you're not going to get much out of these guys as far as movement around and showing personalities. In about a week, uh, we should see a tremendous change. Okay. Um, as far as reservations, you don't have to pick your puppy yet. I can, I'll probably require that next week since I'm running late myself but uh, I'll be taking reservations or moving names directly over to their page, first come, first serve, okay? And that does require a deposit or if you have a deposit already with us, all right? This guy, this our light gray guy, here, turn around, <laughs> he's being shy too. Um, hi, beautiful girl, that's our purple collar girl. You're not bashful, are you? Huh? Oh, here he comes, I love his face. Look at that, look at that. Is that not cute? I've had a couple of them like that and I just love them. Sometimes I'm tempted to want to keep one. <laughs> I can't. I'm overrunning my house with a bunch of misfits as it is. So, um, my days of acquiring puppies for myself are long gone. And of course, everybody that's in our house is all pets. And we had a rat terrier fiasco. No, we did not have puppies. It's just a long story. But anyway, I have three rat terriers right now living in my house. Not my breed, my husband's breed. We have had them for farm animals, or not farm animals, but for a farm um, on the farm. And even in our pro on our property when we were back in Maryland, we had nine and a half acres with horses back there. And um, even then, uh, our rat terriers were outdoors with the access to indoors, um, but they were real hunters. Actually, one of our hunters was a half beagle, half Jack Russell, and her partner in crime was a rat terrier. And then we've had rat terriers here since we've been uh, moved into the house in 1999. Um, and they've always been great rodent dogs. You know, they love being outside and running the farm and everything else. And so when Izzy, our last one, passed away a couple years ago or so, um, tried to get one for my husband, but it seems that this breed too, through a lot of breeding, has been too domesticated, uh, and one of them was just too tiny. So anyway, long story short, I have three rat terriers living in my house that are, <laughs> yeah, I know, that's the way I feel about it too. <laughs> All right, onward. There's our one Merle, it is a male. There you go. 
He is beautifully marked. This whole litter is beautifully marked. Lovey and Doc have beautiful puppies. However, for her next litter, which may very well be her retirement litter, I've got to look back. Um, it's possible I'm going to breed a litter of purebred AKC registered Old English Sheepdogs, and I will be retaining a couple of back, a couple back. Um, they were all from our proven lines. Lovey was born here. The one that I'm going to breed her with, however, is, uh, the boy that we got from out West, um, Bash. Uh, he's already been, uh, his DNA has been submitted and his hips have been checked um, and he produces beautiful puppies. He does have blue eyes, whether he carries that forth. Um, he doesn't really carry it heavy to our sheep doodles but uh, even bred to our Merles, but we'll see as far as our um, Old English Sheepdogs. But like I said, I have first rights to probably at least two females out of that litter. I don't really need males right now, but Look at you sitting so pretty. That's our purple. All right, our Merle. There is our aqua-colored girl back there with very symmetrical patches on her eyes, hiding behind her brother. There's our pretty face. Yeah, our, our light gray, dark gray again. <clears throat> no, only six puppies in this litter, only six. Never did not have any others, only six. Okay, so that's kind of a hint to me based on her previous litters that she's kind of getting to retirement age, but I love her marking so much and how what she produces that I think we just might, and she's still young, uh, we just might have one more litter, like I said, of the Old English Sheepdogs. There's our black collared boy back there. Look at the markings, I just love it. And you can see the, the, the uh, coats that are coming in. They're very lush, my favorite type of coat for Sheepadoodles which are most of ours because we only do the first generation. So anyway, I jabbered on enough. Sorry. Happy New Year, guys. Um, let's hope this year is better than years past, the last two years at least. And uh, my best wishes and may God bless you all throughout the year and always. Thank you for viewing our puppies.